What's up YouTube, it's your boy Jedi here, and today we're going to take a look at the Batman Arkham City Series 2 Mad Hatter figure. Uh, as you see the packaging is the standard uh, Arkham City cowl shaped package. Got Arkham City down at the bottom here, Jarvis Tetch, the Mad Hatter. On the back, got Batman Arkham City, Catwoman, Detective Mode Batman, the Riddler, Hush and the Mad Hatter. There's a read up there. If you want to read it, you can pause and give it a read. <coughs> uh, really excited to crack this open. I've wanted this for the longest of times. Mad Hatter being in my top five uh, Batman villains, along with Professor Pig. So, really happy to have received this as a surprise in the mystery box from Rich over at Comics and Toys. Uh, so let's crack this bad boy open and take a closer look. So here we have the Mad Hatter out of box. As we can see, he is probably the smallest uh, figure in the DC Collectibles Arkham wave. We'll take a quick look at what he comes with. Uh, first off, we have this little base for him to stand on, which is plain black, always good. And of course, we come with his little top hat. Uh, again, which is special, a little bit of molding in there so it sits on his head nicely. <coughs> but that is all we have. Go over articulation, because there's nothing really special here with him, he's pretty much a statue. Uh, the head is on a board joint. It goes up, not very far, goes down a little bit, tiniest bit of bobble and swivel side to side. His arms are on board joints. They go up this far, go down. That one's a bit stiff, go down that far and spin all the way around. And uh, lower forearm articulation, just on a swivel on both hands. We have a cut at the waist from swivel on, and then a swivel in his boots. And that's all really. But the sculpting and paintwork on this guy is absolutely amazing. His teeth look absolutely grotesque, and his face does look insane. The dirt on his hand wraps, oh, his little fingerless gloves, is really, really nice. The sculpting on it is really nice. Uh, the sculpting on his shirt is good. His trousers with his little patched knees. The boots are really nicely sculpted with a variation of brown in there. That's a really nice paint apps on his boot. And then on the coat, we have this nice sculpted patchwork coat with the little uh, stitches. Painted in a more silver, so I guess they kind of look a bit more like staples. But it's a really, really nice looking figure. Uh, so, yeah. That's pretty much all you really have to say about this figure. There's not very much going on, much like most of the other Arkham figures, but the greens and browns, the black and the silver work, the sculpting on these buckles is really, really nice. Uh, just can't get over how nice that face sculpt is. That's just... So good. I really, really like that. Sculpting on the hair is quite good as well. <coughs> it looks absolutely insane with the hat on, but that works for the Mad Hatter, I guess. Uh, let's see, does that just... Put them on here. We'll get the usual suspects out. If 
for height comparison, as always, we have the elite Matt Hardy and the Marvel Legends Beta Ray Bill. <coughs> as you can see, Matt Hatter is absolutely tiny compared to them. But for a height comparison, there's something more in this height range. Let's go for a foreign Oaken Shield figure from The Hobbit. Uh, again, he is still pretty big compared to Mad Hatter here, but not too bad. So who knows, he might be able to use Mad, Hatter, Mad Hatter's head for a custom in that scale, if that's something you're going for. And then lastly, with the Black Series, Anakin Skywalker, again, absolutely towered by them. Uh, let's bring some in from the Arkham Wave so we can just see how, in comparison, how small Mad Hatter is to Professor Pig here, who is pretty much the average size. <coughs> again, these are two characters in my top five all-time villains for Batman. So I'm really happy to have both of these up on my shelf now. So all in all, uh, I know Mad Hatter can be quite a pricey one. And as I've said, there's nothing really too special about him as a figure, but he is a really, really nice piece. Like, I would happily have paid double what I paid for him to own him, just because I like the character that much. Uh, if you're not a massive Mad Hatter fan, I guess you could miss out on this and not really care. But at the end of the day, I think he is definitely worth the money when it comes to this figure. So that's everything with this one, guys. As always, if you like the video, drop a like and subscribe. Uh, and as always, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.